All right, so Dead by Daylight just released their upcoming roadmap. We got October, November, January. October's already been covered. They always do this. I don't know why they do this, so we don't even need to look at October. November's where the new stuff comes in. We got an updated new system that I'm pretty sure nobody cares about, and then we have an improvement to the activity HUD. So I would assume that's like adding the anti-camp meter to the activity HUD so you can see how close your teammate is to getting herself unhooked. Then we got killer tweaks. We have seven killers being tweaked. Now, last roadmap, it had Plague and Cinnabite on it, slated to be tweaked. Um, that's not happening anymore. Those two got removed. So we have three here that we know, the Shape, the Dark Lord, and the Demogorgon, and then four more we don't know. And I know Plague and Cinnabite aren't in this because on the Steam page, it says that they've been postponed for now. So we'll see how that goes. I'm assuming it's just going to be some... These are just tweaks. They're not full reworks. Probably going to be a few buffs for Michael Myers. Probably a few nerfs for the Dark Lord because he's really strong right now. And then probably a few quality of life changes for Demogorgon. So, yeah. The other four killers, I have no idea. I couldn't even speculate, honestly. Uh, maybe Trapper. <laughs> I don't know. And then we got perk updates. Weave Attunement. This was announced on last roadmap, too. Getting nerfed, I'm sure, because of its synergy with Franklin's. Ace in the hole, scene partner, and five others. So that's uh, seven in total again. Or eight, my bad. And then January, we have a killer update for the Nightmare. Now, he's not included in the tweaks, but I still think it is just a few tweaks because they were saying his rework's going to be later in 2025. So I think this is just going to be tweaks. They obviously didn't include it because November and January, obviously two different months, right? Then we got perk tweaks in January. Fire up, which is very interesting. I'm really excited to see what they do with that. Remember me as well. Wake up and vigil. So if you notice, all of these perks are from the five or yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> the um, <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street chapter, right? Because fire up is Freddy's. Remember me is Freddy's. Wake up is uh, Quentin's and vigil is Quentin's. I'm very curious to see what they do with Fire Up, because right now Fire Up is like, it's such a cool perk idea, but it's just awful. You get 4% faster at everything each time a gen pops. So 4% faster vaulting, 4% faster pickup, 4% faster kicking pallets. Yeah, it's just, it's really cool. But, you know, you lose all five gens and you're only 20% faster at everything. Eh, it's not that great. Remember Me, I'm pretty sure is going to make it to where the obsession is affected by the gate slowdown, because right now, Remember Me very strongly encourages you to brutally tunnel out the obsession as soon as you get your four stacks and they obviously don't want to encourage tunneling so they're probably going to remove that requirement and then we have update to status effects deep wound i have no idea what they could possibly be doing to for this i mean maybe they make it i don't know i don't know you should not be able to take two deep wound hits like if you if you're in deep wound and then you get hit by another deep wound you should you know what I mean? Like if you say you dead hard a hit, right? And then pop a styptic agent and then get hit again and get out for free. You know, even if you take the styptic, since you're in deep wound already, you'll go down. So I have no idea what they're going to do with this. But yeah, this was a quick one. I'm very curious to see what they're going to do. It looks like we got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 perk improvements in total over two months. Um, I'm very... I, I really wish they'd update perks more often. But... Yeah, I mean, this is this is it so far. I'm really curious to see who these other four killers are going to be. I'm really curious to see all these new perk changes and really interested to see what they're going to do with the deep wound mechanic. So yeah, that does it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe to that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one.